and welcome back to my guide for making strong nations. Um, this time I'm going to be doing the easy setup, and I think like last time I was talking about the random versus non-random. So for Europe, you can still create a fairly sizable custom nation. Um, I personally tried out the HRE area because HRE might be a fun thing to get into. Plus, it's a lot of really small territories, so. If, especially if you put your prawns in here, you're part of it, you'll be able to get some benefits and probably get elected the leader. Out here, and of course, the, a little bit less of England, the provinces get a bit more expensive, while down in Greece, I haven't actually tried it out, so I think our first one might as well. England is always a good nation to build, at least with these large numbers of points, I think. Um, I'm going to basically do what I did before. I avoid the coast, which got expensive, so let's try here. And what I think might work out well is this is about 200 points or so for land, so it's a bit halfway between land and actual ideas. Actually, it's kind of funny, I found that having my capital in Africa actually halved my, or gave me negative points, so I actually gained points from it. Okay, so we have an okay size, and that should especially be good for part of the HRE. So next, um, culture is whatever. We obviously don't have to worry about our tech group here, which is a nice. Um, presumably we're going to be going to war or potentially trade, so for maybe this one will be our war in the HRE. So we might move our, um, maybe our combat ability. Eh. Now, discipline, and there's one other thing in here, morale. Let's have those starting out. And obviously those increase in price quickly. And personally, I'd then probably have a manpower and a uh, actual um, maintenance. Where is maintenance again? That or maybe subject, especially in the HRE, since you're probably going to be vassalizing electors. Um, actually, I'll leave tax modifier there. Residents change it and instead find the. Uh, where is the maintenance? I'm looking for maintenance here. There we go. So now we obviously have a lot more military than we really want. More out of navy, because that's virtually useless when we're landlocked and. Although we can probably, or uh, certainly will expand out to the sea, although, who knows, that will be for later, and it's not necessarily important. Plus, those provinces, at least normally for choosing yours, you, I don't think I'd recommend choosing them because of the actual cost, so. For now, diplomatic, um, probably diplomatic relations, if we're going to make this into like an HRE type Nation, national unrest, that will be nice, especially depending on whatever you do. And now, so I suppose we have some administrative, eh, probably again, vassal laid stuff, I'm thinking here. Uh, we're not a republic, so I don't want tradition. Prestige, legitimacy, um, hmm. Could do accepted culture. That's something that, that Looking at it, I'd highly recommend having cultural acceptance somewhere in here, especially if you're going to be over a large area of land that's not normally uncolonized, that has a variety of cultures because that aren't all in the same group, because you're going to either want to culture convert those quickly, or you're going to want to have them become an accepted culture. So that I might actually boost up, especially if we plan on expanding. And here, who knows, we're fairly even so it's missing some diplomatic, so maybe minus aggressive expansion. We're going to be presumably doing that a lot. So now I just have this and just take some random promises in here. Uh, not Bohemia, Bohemia is very expensive, I guess. Yeah. And then, if we went then from our kind of militaristic thing to a more trade. So, let's try more like a Venetian type thing. 
We put our capital around Rome. Spend some time getting some land around here. Take up over here and some of these uh, islands. Just gonna pick a few more. Eh, yeah. Especially if she might take this and neglect a few of these counties just that way. And maybe focus on conquering these like quickly early on. Once again, since yeah, we have this. Might instead change from monarchy again to a republic. Unless the republic is just, as long as you're a republic, just change it depending on what you want. Like, you want, probably going to be trade, so. Now we have our land and our government, so a little trade power, that's always nice. And probably. I might go with tax modifier again since we're a bit smaller. Uh, where is tax modifier? Somewhere in here. I uh, totally. 25%, so. Tax. Is it in here? Or is it wrong? Could be in here. Oh well. Then instead, production efficiency won't be too bad, but. We're just gonna go with. Actually, no tariff is if we're going to be. Might be another okay thing for colonizing. But instead. Maybe there's trade ranges in here. But, eh, let's go for merchant, actually. Uh huh, we want tax. We obviously. So this one. Uh, our try idea, so that's pretty cheap. Stability cost? No, won't be using that. Uh, we will be using a lot of ships with this sh with with j with this setup. So we have trade power. Yes, we do. So maybe a cost or again a uh, force limits. Efficiency might be good. Uh, I'm gonna go for force limits here. Naval force limit. I buff buff that up one. Now I think I'll be buffing too much more, but again force limits I tend to like, and then. Maintenance, maybe, or reinforce speed. I kind of like that. Couple that with some um, man manpower recovery. Uh, where is that? Uh, manpower recovery, recovery speed. Okay, trade efficiency, another good one. And then. Let's finish up with like a oh cultural conversion. Yeah, that or accepted would be good. So obviously now we have some room to take some provinces, switch it up a bit, and now and we're a republic, so we won't really care that much about them. So any cheap provinces nearby? Want like for yeah. We could take Lien's. Okay. So that's our Roman trade republic type group in Europe. Now out here in like the Americas again, a good thing. This would pro something like these, and like there it looks nice, especially for all those provinces and for random. Although for more general, I think that would still be fine with a let's suck like that. 146 base tax, that's gonna be pretty good. You don't have too bad of a force limit. Here you're going to definitely be focusing more on the navy than your army. And you're still gonna gain a sizable tax. Uh, or base tax, I mean. Um, in America, you're going to definitely have to worry a bit more about your uh, tech group and how much it costs. This time I'm gonna try going up here and closer to Canada. That's fine, we're good trade places. Uh, here should be fine. So let's, uh. I'm just gonna fill in this, I think. Up until we get to 200 uh, points. Yeah. Alright, doing this right. It's hard to tell with, uh. Yeah, coastal provinces definitely cost a lot more. 
197, 99, might just take there. And you'll let us take, spend a bit more. So next to it, it's going to be definitely a bit more expensive to get Western. And you wouldn't be able to get, er, you'd have to be a lot more limited in terms of your uh, actual ideas. So Eastern tech costs with uh, only 20% more, Ottoman 25, Muslim 40. So depending on how much you're willing to get or spend, you might do this. North or South, I wouldn't recommend going for either of those. But let's try Indian 150. You won't be able to westernize for a while, but hope you'll at least have an advantage, I think, over the Native Americans. Although, once again, you also have to worry a bit more about your lands, and depending on whether you're planning on being militaristic or not, you can change your ideas. I'm not going to go through that. Although, once again, here, I'd probably add a colonist. And that boosts you up a bit. Uh, let me just increase that. And there is a little bit over his own style. Let's take a province. So yeah, that could be another thing. Let's try with uh, normal tax values and stuff. You might go for down here because there's a lot of gold. You could do your capital around here, take a lot of this. And once again, either way, normal or randomized values, you'd be fairly set for here. Because it's cheap and if you're normal, you can get the gold from here. If it's not, then, well, you'll still have a sizable amount of land. And so once again, we might go Western or Muslim, maybe Indian. Actually, 140 versus... 150. I'd spend the extra 10 points actually to get that 10% reduction, maybe. What's the next closest? 10. You'd have to spend 15. So from here, we might go and increase our discipline, our land force limits, um, boost up our uh, uh, infantry combat ability, maybe. Who knows? Just bounce this out of it. Another key thing is make sure you're bouncing. Sometimes you can get some cheaper ideas for less. Um, then it was fill up the rest with some territory. Yeah, something was really expensive there. I think. Yeah. Mexico! Oh, that's what's really expensive. See, I might just surround Mexico instead of taking it. Uh, okay, Colma can be taken. And there, now we have a kind of big one here. South America, once again, stick to the mountains for the gold if you're playing normal mode. Otherwise, I might take this more interior area. It's going to do you well. That's African, like I mentioned. Um, like here, you have negative two. But I'm not sure if that's, let's me just test something. Uh, custom nation add. Let's try you negative one. So know that negative amount does your capital does affect that. So like right here, that's a negative two. So you'd have negative two. You get an extra two points compared to what you could otherwise have. And I'd again avoid the coast. Maybe just take a small amount of land up here. Keep those uh, Europeans out of the way for a while. Or if you want to get to them, you might boost up through here, although... Personally, I'd probably be avoiding them. Then you could probably take some land here. If you wanted to, you could probably go with a... a Muslim group. Just be able to... Be more friendly with these North African guys. And even get religious ideas and go to war for down here. Tech group, you'd only have 40, so that I'd say is definitely worth it. Worth it. So now we might go choose some military ideas for being expansionist again. I think if you want to know about ideas, I'd just go watch the last one. I've done a lot of explaining ideas, although I might get more into them once we boost up the difficulty. And then finally, you could do an Indian uh, nation. India is a fairly 
complex place, so you could have some nice stuff here. You could even put your capital here and have it be fairly defensible. And it's not too bad for the cost of stuff. I'll say that. Obviously not. Uh, so that cheap either. So I might move over here. Once again, Western is only 40. I'd personally say it's worth it. Maybe, definitely, actually here I'd almost choose maybe some uh, here and then some trade efficiency or something. Just go into trade and uh, military. Morale, yeah, that would be fine. Stability costs instead, let's go with uh, maybe we'd go with a we already had trade power, so could go with a merchant or go with uh, trade efficiency. That could be good. Might go into instead of that, we could go into idea cost, the national unrest. The so subtraction might be a good thing for you, depending. So plan. So we're still relatively well balanced. So that's good. Get rid of that aggressive expansion because we're going to be expanding a lot, if I had to guess. Maybe an extra diplomat for your wars. Back to military and maybe increase attrition for enemies so that way once you start getting invaded you can be a bit more defensive. Let's fill in with a few more provinces up here. So yeah, I'd say generally so far if you're going to once it's topping off your store score, either work on your ruler or take some non-coastal provinces, so this will be fairly cheap. Could also now maybe down here is fairly close close to China. Alternatively we could do a Japanese nation. It could be a shogun or something. Those have some interesting benefits. Even though you'd be kind of a unified Japan, you would could take a lot of land. Uh huh, so we'd just finish up taking all of here. Have all of Japan, so we're not really too worried about that. Have some land here as a base operations for attacking up into here. So next we might go to. Uh. No, I'd instead try to be. Shogunate? Can we be a Shogunate? Yes. You might not be able to be... Okay, so you have to be a Chinese tech group, though. 160% more. So while you do take that more uh, cost, you do have the added ability of being able to take more vassals. So here I might go with military and... Uh, Diplomat would be a good one. And then... Diplomatic uh, relations or reputation. Um, actually, that's expensive. Those are both pretty expensive, so. Diplomatic uh, reputation. New. No. Another thing not to boost. <laughs> We're dealing with such low. You might want to go for some ship stuff, but who knows? Next, I think I'd probably go for some tax. Um, tax mod. Oh, perfect. Buff that bit. Yeah, okay. Now we get more to military. Some force limits, um, some. some. Uh, may subject nation, because the shogunate that gets a lot of benefit from vassals, which is why I was adding to that. That's obviously fairly cheap, finding 75% for more vast force limit will be nice for you. And then here we could probably go with a morale, maybe something to help your combat. Trade efficiency, I don't think we'll be alert doing too much of a trade with this setup, or would be. So, manpower recovery, that's always a useful thing to have, and then, yeah, you know, land maintenance. And that's a fairly good uh, setup for a uh, Asian nation. You could start using that to vassalize some of the northern powers. So let's say if you have a random setup, you'll probably have more broken up uh, states around here to conquer and vassalize, and that plus four vassal in it, you'll, you'll have to have a whole lot of them. Is that relations? 
Um, Shogunate. Yeah, no. Oh, well. Custom Nation Modify. Let me check that now to be sure what it is. Shogunate. Plus four diplomatic relations, so yeah, so you can. Vassals are diplomatic relations, so you can. An extra four vassals or allies or whatever. Allow you to be fairly powerful. You could also probably go for colonists and start expanding up north, even though there's a few countries now up here. But you'll still have this wide area if you can get to it. Um, I think that's everything. I only talked about South America, but hopefully you can do it yourself. So yeah, next time I'll be back with a slightly easier difficulty. Thanks for watching. Feel free to check out the other videos in this series. Uh, have a nice day and all that. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, check out the channel. Yeah.